Hello, my beautiful mystic friends. Welcome to your Wednesday, February the 24th, 2021 Mystic Affirmations. This is our positively positive, most positive reading that I do. And uh, that says a lot because most of my readings are positive. So this one's is extremely positive. I, uh, I, I just, this is the manifesting reading. This is the one where we turn it around, whatever we face through the day. And sometimes it's every five minutes we have to recalibrate and reaffirm what we're doing to allow ourselves to have success through the power of our thought and bringing ourselves through uh, whatever we're experiencing in the most positive way possible. As you all know, I live by that, so there's no doubt <laughs> after this past week. Uh, if any of you saw my gloved reading, you know uh, that's I try to make lemon lemonade out of lemons every time. Preferably lemon pie, but <laughs> We'll take lemonade <laughs> if we can get it. So we have this beautiful Queen of Cups. You know this is one of my favorite cards because who doesn't love a mermaid tail? I just mean, you know, it can't go too far off the rails when you've got a mermaid tail. That means magic is afoot and something good is on the way. So she's got this beautiful cup. She's holding her chalice up. She's looking to the future in one of the most positive Queen of Cups depictions that I have ever seen in tarot. So this one is a very strong energy of looking forward to the future. And uh, let's not forget, I've got to mention, if you'd like a private reading, please visit royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you. You can check out all the different services I offer. And with that being said, let's move into this beautiful reading. We have the Two of Swords and the Queen of Cups. Now, I want to bring something to your attention. At no other time are the swords hooked other than this card in this deck. And this means... Trying to use your logic will not be met with success. It will bend your sword. <laughs> so just got to let go and let God. This is the moment where you have to trust the universe. And logic doesn't make sense when there's miracles afoot. There's no logical miracle ever. Uh, that's why they can't reproduce them on the regular. They, can, they only show up when they're wanting to show up. We can ask for them, but we sure can't force them to happen. So this is, she's, she's looking towards some miracles here. Let's see what happens. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure white light. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine, for your presence. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we have our three cards. And our underlier. Hello, long time no see, beautiful Queen of Cups. Oh, this is why I started showing the underliers because it was too bizarre that they were coming back up. I love my cards. They love me. We have a beautiful communication. So we'll take that. And with gratitude, this is the card for the top of our Law of Attraction deck, gratitude. I am grateful for and appreciate all the abundance I have in my life today. Absolutely. Every single thing. And, and you can say it in that way. You don't have to sit there and rifle off a list. You can say, this is the affirmation, I am grateful for and appreciate all the abundance I have in my life today. Simple as that. And you know what the best gratitude statement is, short and sweet? Thank you, universe. Thank you, divine. That's it. That's great. That's graciousness and gratitude. So 
Um, there's a there's when I first started learning how to bring gratitude um, before I even uh, you know like making myself be in that habit when I first started the law of attraction and learning how to do things like this I learned to walk with each step and say thank you so every time my one foot hit the ground thank you the next foot hit the ground thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So that I was already exhibiting, before I even woke up, that first trip to the bathroom, I was every step, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And once you get into that kind of habit, before you even realize what you are thanking the universe for, you're already grateful. And then it must meet that expectation. So we have support here. I surround myself with supportive people who believe in my dreams. You will not, by any stretch of the imagination, be able to sustain your gratitude and your upbeat energy of, of wonderful acceptance of abundance and new beginnings and the belief system of reeling in what you want in your life unless you have like-minded people around you so if you do not have like-minded people around you don't share your enthusiasm and your dream to people who are going to spit poison at you or try to stomp your little dream out um, you don't have to share it that's something you can keep to yourself until you're around people who you know will support you. You might have that one person in your life that you can talk to about what you're trying to do that won't stamp it out. The others don't need to hear it. And I'll just say this, my guides gave me a very strong, very strong message because I, I wanted to tell people what I was doing before, when I was developing this. And my guides said, no, there was a certain person I wanted to tell. They said, no, wait till it's a success and then they can't trample it. Sometimes we have to be patient and allow ourselves to have that moment. So we have compromise here and compromise is a very strong energy of sometimes you can allow yourself to find a win-win situation where you want to have the moment of, of sharing without risking them having the ability to have any power over it. But that's the compromise I reached was I would be able to tell it once I became successful. So that also gave me more motivation to be successful so that I could have, the, have that moment to be able to stand in the power of success and tell some of the people that I thought I wanted them to know, but I didn't know how they would react. <laughs> it's not every day that you decide, <laughs> I'm going to be a live tarot reader online. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, integration. This is one of the most powerful sacred geometry symbols there are. This is the triple triangle inverted up and down so as above so below and it's expanding out in both ways you have the triple triangle this way in this shape and the triple triangle in this way pointing so up and down three tier triangle and this is what it looks like i'm gonna pull this off i got it taped up this is what it looks like isn't that beautiful so there are six triangles, three facing down, one, two, three. You see the tops there. And then these are facing up, one, two, three. Now, it's actually pyramid shape, okay, tetrahedron. So it says the frequency of integration supports our embrace of every aspect of ourselves allowing what we perceive as positive and what we perceive as negative to harmonize in a balanced symphony of life so there this is called oh hang on let me think what it's called 
There's a word for it. Sriyanka. Okay. I have to remember. It's like it's like saying Sri Lanka, but it's Sri Yanka. Y A N K A. Sri Yanka. That's the name of that symbol. There you go. Look out. Royal Mystic is learning all of her sacred geometry. Look out. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to tell you that six months ago. So, I now receive my good from expected and unexpected sources. I am an unlimited being, accepting from an unlimited source in an unlimited way. I am blessed beyond my fondest dreams. I am open and receptive to new avenues of income. I now receive my good from expected and unexpected sources. I am an unlimited being, accepting from an unlimited source in an unlimited way. I am blessed beyond my fondest dreams. I am open and receptive to new avenues of income. Absolutely. Abundance coming in from sources known and unknown is always a welcome and beautiful energy. We receive, receive, receive abundance from all directions. My thoughts are creative. We just had this one. I say out to every negative thought that comes to my mind. No person, place, or thing has any power over me, for I am the only thinker in my mind. I create my own reality and everyone in it. My thoughts are creative. I say out to every negative thought that comes to my mind. No person, place, or thing has any power over me, for I am the only thinker in my mind. I create my own reality and everyone in it. My thoughts are creative. Isn't that beautiful? If once you realize the strength of that statement, you are, you are the one in charge. You get to choose what you receive and don't receive as a truth in your life. Well, I received that one. <laughs> Hello, Icosahedron and the Ten of Cups. We receive, receive, receive. This is a beautiful energy. This is the happily ever after energy. This is the manifestation of all your best possible life could be. Now, we have... The Six of Cups, soul family energy. This is very strong energy of people who you've made a soul contract agreement with to go through many lifetimes together. So these people are present in your life now and they may be people you work with or they may be family members or friends. Uh, you know who they are because it's like you've known them forever. And then we have the Five of Swords, which is telling you, you might feel battle weary, but do not quit five minutes before your miracle, because this means it is not time to surrender. It's just time to hold your ground. You don't have to keep making headway, but you do have to hold your ground and not lose any ground. Do not retreat. Do not surrender. It is not time for that. You may be battle weary and need to rest. That's one thing. Do whatever that takes to get that done, but don't stop. Okay, it's still coming in, so don't stop. Many blessings to you all. I hope you have a beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste, my friends.